All right, so our objective is readers construct a working definition for biography. So today, we're going to review first what do we know about biographies and what is always true about them. So let's share a couple things we talked about yesterday. So what do we know about them and what is always true? Zoe? So it's always about a real person who has actually lived. So yep, that's correct. What else about biographies that is always true or that we know about them? Um, they're always about person's accomplishments. Okay, it's always about a person's accomplishments, what they are accomplishing, whether it be great feats or small feats, right? Something about that person. Yes, Brecken? Yeah, most of the time it is about a famous person. It's usually not about somebody who you would, like you said, down the street is more common. I mean, you could you could write a biography about them, and their accomplishments would just be smaller accomplishments, right? They wouldn't be like a great scientist, like Albert Einstein or something like that. But they, you could still write one about a person. Um, Zoe. Exactly, it's always things written about the past. It's never about, usually never about the now or necessarily the future. Can you write about a person who's still alive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can still write a biography about a person who's still alive. In fact, there's a lot of sport biographies sitting over there that are people who are still alive. And some of them are still playing sports. And then of course there's others out there like presidents and stuff like that who are still alive, who have biographies about them, okay? So there's, there, they don't have to necessarily be dead before you can write a book about them. So activity. We're gonna get our, our reader's notebook and we're gonna turn to the mini lesson response section. We're gonna write down a biography is and then finish the sentence with what you believe is the definition of the word biography. So you're gonna write down a definition. Once everyone has a working definition, I want everyone to find two other people and share your definition with them, okay? So right now, you're gonna get up, you're gonna go get your notebook, you're gonna go back to your seat, and you're gonna write down a biography is and start trying to come up with a definition. And then you're gonna put your thumbs up when you are ready. So once everyone's ready, then we'll start sharing. Just a reminder, once you are ready, just put your thumb up, and once everyone's thumb is up, I know that everyone has a definition, and we can start going around sharing. So you're gonna start with a biography is, and then start writing down what you think. All right, good, got one so far. Good, got another one. Good. All right. Okay, so 
So everyone's ready. Here's what I want you to do now. You're going to find two other people. You're going to read your definition to them, and they're going to read their definition to you. And if they share something that maybe you didn't think of, but you thought, wow, that's clever, go ahead and compliment them about that and say, I didn't really think about it like that way. And you can go ahead and just kind of share your thoughts about each other's definitions and then move on to the next person. You should at least talk to two people about their definition. You may start now. Okay, just one or two more minutes, and then we're going to head back to our seat. Okay, that's pretty good. Zoe? I hear a lot of the same stuff being said, accomplishments, um, it's the past usually about this person, it's real facts, real stories, and um, it's about a particular person, and it's a book. So yes, you guys are all on the right track, so that's good. So this is a definition that I pulled from the dictionary. Biography is an account or story of someone's life written by somebody else. Wow. So yes. that is that is the dictionary definition of a biography. No one got close to that. <laughs> but you guys pretty much got the same idea. It's just mm -hmm. they use different words. English language has a lot of different words, so you could always create something that basically means the same thing, but with completely different words, right? So it's not necessarily a bad thing that you weren't exactly. Reckon? Yeah, it should be. It should be real. Like, should be a real story or you know facts, right? Biography should be have facts and stuff. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, they didn't use the word real in this one, but it's implied, I guess. All right. So today we created a definition of the word biography. 
I want you to choose a biography book from the library to read, unless you are already reading one, and think about whether it fits the definition of biography. So you can either think about the definition you wrote or the definition that I shared in the PowerPoint today, okay? And of course, that will be something that you can do kind of at the end of reading. So you want to get through like the grammar sheet, get through the reading stuff you have to do for reading groups, uh, get through the book that maybe you selected from the library, that sort of thing. So you're going to want to work through all that reading. And then if you have time at the end, then maybe flip through a biography and check to see if it fits the definition. I'm sure many of you will find that it does. So, so yeah, just kind of leave that toward the end of your list of things that you're doing today. I will be meeting with groups today. I believe it is green, orange, and blue groups. That's the groups I'm meeting today. So if you're part of those groups, it's best to be called at some point today. So questions, London? Epic, um, I don't, I think we should be fine. I think we, we don't have that much time. We only have about 40 minutes. So I think, I think, no, we shouldn't need to do epic today. So I think we're fine with what we've got. All right, any other questions before we begin? Good, all right, go ahead and get the stuff that you need.